Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Saturday. It is April 8th, and today is uh, Holy Saturday, um, as we await tomorrow for uh, to celebrate the glorious resurrection of our Lord. And so we go through today um, to arrive at the resurrection. Friends, let's begin our morning prayer then with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, who for our sake suffered death and was buried. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, who for our sake suffered death and was buried. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble. Tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you th were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Oh. Sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Though sinless, the Lord has been put to death. The world is in mourning as for an only son. Hear my voice, O God, as I complain. Guard my life from the dread of the foe. Hide me from the band of the wicked, from the throng of those who do evil. They sharpen their tongues like swords. They aim bitter words like arrows to shoot at the innocent from ambush, shooting suddenly and recklessly. They scheme their evil course. They conspire to lay secret snares. They say, who will see us? Who can search out our crimes? He will search 
who searches the mind and knows the depths of the heart. God has shot them with his arrow and dealt them sudden wounds. Their own tongue has brought them to ruin, and all who see them mock. Then will all men fear. They will tell what God has done. They will understand God's deeds. The just will rejoice in the Lord and fly to him for refuge. All the upright hearts will glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Though sinless, the Lord has been put to death. The world is in mourning, as for an only Son. From the jaws of hell, Lord, rescue my soul. Once I said in the noontime of life, I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld, I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who, would, who dwell in the world. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion, he breaks all my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow, I utter shrill cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. Beamer, when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the netherworld that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks, as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to stringed instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From the jaws of hell, Lord, rescue my soul. I was dead, but now I live forever. I hold the keys of death and of hell. Praise God in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise his surpassing greatness. Oh, praise him with sound of trumpet. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipes. O oh, praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I was dead, but now I live forever. I hold the keys of death and of hell. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, in their affliction they shall look for me. Come, let us return to the Lord, for it is he who has rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day he will raise us up, to live in his presence. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For our sake, Christ was obedient, accepting even death, death on a cross. Therefore God raised him on high and gave him the name above all other names. Save us, Savior of the world. On the cross you redeemed us by the shedding of your blood. We cry, out for, we cry out for your help, O God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, 
to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Save us, O Savior of the world. On the cross you redeemed us by the shedding of your blood. We cry out for your help, O God. Our Redeemer suffered and was buried for us in order to rise again. With sincere love, we adore him, and aware of our needs, we cry out, Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, our Savior, your sor sorrowing mother stood by you at your death and burial. In our sorrows, may we share your suffering. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, our Lord, like the seed buried in the ground, you brought forth for us the harvest of grace. May we die to sin and live for God. Lord, have mercy on us. Good shepherd, in death you lay hidden from the world. Teach us to love a life hidden with you in the Father. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, the new Adam, you entered the kingdom of death to release all the just since the beginning of the world. May all who lie dead in sin hear your voice and rise to life. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, Son of the living God, through baptism we were buried with you. Risen also with you in baptism, may we walk in newness of life. Lord, have mercy on us. Gathering these prayers, these intentions, calling to mind the prayers and the intentions of our own hearts, we lift up our voices as we remember all of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for, and praying those sacred words now that Jesus himself gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All-powerful and ever-living God, your only Son went down among the dead and rose again in glory. In your goodness, raise up your faithful people buried with him in baptism, to be one with him in the eternal life of heaven. Where, in the eternal life of heaven, where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me today for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. How good it is for us to join together each morning, praying this prayer of the church, praying with the church, through the church, on behalf of the church, and for all of her members. And then how good it is, too, that you and I are able to join together this morning and each morning, being able to support one another, not just through praying morning prayer together, but throughout this day, being able to be with one another spiritually and offer this prayerful support spiritual support for whatever we face. Um, as I've uh, mentioned uh, over the last couple of days, um, after tomorrow, Easter Sunday, um, I'm going to be away from the parish uh, for the week. So uh, morning 